Welcome back. Our next guest, she's a dental assistant and a technician at the Montefiore Medical Center. And she's also an author of a new book titled Mindset. Now, mind you, this is a first time on, but she's got a lot to talk about. She's here to speak about the book and the message that uh, she hopes to send her readers through it. So please welcome to the show, Sandra Miller Berry. Sandra, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Dr. Bob Lee and your producers for having me on your show. I'm so excited and grateful for this exposure to talk about my book titled Mindset. Oh yes, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Give us a quick synopsis of the book. Okay, my book um, about mindset is um, to inspire and uplift someone. The book has four chapters. Deep breath, take control, stay focused, set goals with 16 subtopics. It's a 60 page purple literary fiction book, small but powerful. Purple is my favorite color. Yeah. The main objective of this book is to inspire and uplift, to send a message of hope and faith through my journey with COVID-19. My intention is to use my book to connect my fortunate and unfortunate experiences and encounters in life with potential readers. I exercise faith, jump hurdles, and push away obstacles, which move me from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. If yes. you have ever, yeah, if you have ever faced problems or disappointments in life, and came out of these situations with key points and a good and strong mindset, then it's an inspiration. So it's an inspiration to lots of people. Um, yes. But what, in, what inspired you to write the book? Okay, what inspired me and motivates me to write this book and to publish it, which is my third published book, is due to the global, global pandemic COVID-19, mm -hmm. which I started to write during my quiet quarantine time, where I did a lot of self-reflections or introspection, which widens my self-awareness. When I say quiet quarantine time, I'm referring to the months of March and April 2020, yeah. when the pandemic hits the hardest in New York, specifically Bronx, New York. I yeah. was lucky as a healthcare worker to be home 24 seven due to a procedure I had. I also celebrated my 56th birthday at this time, in those times, sorry, <clears throat> which is a very memorable quarantine birthday celebration. Yeah. I experienced emotional breakdowns and mental drained situation by watching and listening to the news seeing people dying, numerous people dying, yeah. seeing families suffering from the loss of loved ones and close relatives and friends. I personally suffered from the loss of my brother and a few of my church members, my brothers and sisters. When I no. got sick, afflicted by this deadly virus and walked through and out of this dark valley, I was compelled to complete my book and to share with others how I transformed those emotional, fearful and frightening feeling into enlightening and informative moments. Yeah. How has your faith helped you to get through this pandemic and to help you to put the pen to the paper so that you can inspire others? Okay. It helped me a lot in the case of praying, reading Psalm 91 as a daily bread, <laughs> drinking hot teas, hot um, liquids, yeah. talking to my um, church brothers and sisters, my husband, my children, and um, 
just sitting and reflecting on life itself that we have a purpose. Yes. So with um, some of the most important points in my book is inhale and exhale deeply. Love your life. Have inner peace or peace of mind. Believe in yourself. Be positive. Be productive. Listen to your heart and be passionate. Wow. So how did, how did you figure out that we needed to start out with the inhale and exhale deeply? That's just a part of me during the pandemic, because when you watch the TV, when you read about things to do, that's basically one of the most important things. Take yeah. a deep breath, hold it and um, <clears throat> let it out for, hold it for five to 10 minutes, then slowly let it out. And um, yeah. this will, you're exercising your lungs. Work those lungs because that uh, COVID-19 wants to come in and tackle right. some things inside of your lungs. Right. Yes. So, so how did you, where did, where did it go from there? Then I learned to believe in myself, to believe in God and to pray more <clears throat> reverently, knowing yeah. that God will walk us through if it is his will. So what do you want people to take from the book after reading it? To take that we all have a purpose in life and that we should have a unique value of our own willpower. Powerful. Yes. yes. And, and this is, this is you, you said this is your third book. This is my third book. And this was done out of inspiration and um, sympathy for um, persons who have lost loved ones in this yeah. pandemic. And when you think about writing a first book, you think about a second, a third, is there a fourth in line? Um, yes, that's coming up. <laughs> I haven't decided on the um, title yet, but I know I'm gonna do. Cause I'm yeah. so inspired when I see, um, when I get feedback on the book, how inspiring, how touching it is to, to those who read the book. So I'm happy about that. My mission is completed with that book. Mindset. Mindset. How did you come up with that title? Th because thinking about what um, happens to me during the pandemic, how I sit every day, how I cried, how I wonder, how I think, uh, am I going to make it through? Is the world going to make it through? And then I have a few friends, church sisters, who were also afflicted with the virus and they pulled through. So and when, I, I think yeah. about it and I said, okay, this is a mind thing to get over the pandemic. Yes. And you said you prayed a lot. What was one of the prayers that you, uh, that you prayed? I pray to God to spare my life, to spare those who are sick. Before I was sick, I always pray for the people who are sick and pray for the doctors and the nurses, for the families, for them to go through without being in sufferation longer than this. Yes. And where can we go to pick up your book? It's on um, Amazon.com, www.amazon.com slash DP slash B093CHHXBQ. All right. Or you can go on Amazon.com and type in the title Mindset by Sandra Miller Berry. As a matter of fact, Lady Sandra A. Miller Berry. There you go. Thank you. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. Sandra Amen. Miller Berry, author of Mindset. Pick up her latest book. All right, uh, coming up next, you know, sports is all around us and uh, we're into it. Bobby C has the latest in the world of sports next.